What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, you already know, we're talking about the brand new Hinge 2.0 by Ultraview. Now the Ultraview Hinge has without a doubt been one of the most popular Hinge style releases since they dropped the first one back in 2020. But for me personally, the original Hinge lacked adjustability out of the box and prevented me from buying it or wanting to try it. Now, uh, if you wanted to adjust the original Hinge and you wanted to change it from a click to a no click or change that click travel, you actually had to go on their website, buy a bunch of different hooks and figure out which one worked best for you. And all that expense was in addition to what you had already paid for the release. So again, kind of a deal killer for me. Uh, but Ultraview did listen to the consumer and now they have released the Hinge 2.0 and this is out of the box a fully adjustable release so you can set this thing up to have a click you can set it up to have no click you can change the click travel and then how much rotation is required to actually activate the release so like I said out of the box fully customizable uh, to your liking now to, to make that modification or to make that change to give you that adjustability uh, Ultraview has now added two different moons so you now have a click moon and a fire moon which you can adjust independently from one another but in addition to making this a fully adjustable release uh, they also increase the overall width of these finger pads just making it feel a little bit nicer in the hand and I gotta say as soon as I pick this thing up I mean this release feels awesome I've shot this already a couple times uh, you don't get any pressure points or any hot spots whereas if I compare this to my Carter wise choice you can see the neck on this is substantially bigger and when I draw my bow with this release and come to anchor um, you do feel a little bit of pressure in the middle of your index and the middle of your middle finger whereas with the ultra view hinge um, you do not feel that at all now for reference I wear a size large glove I ordered a medium hinge and like I said this thing just fits perfectly now probably one of the most popular upgrades that they made is the fact that they got rid of that annoying rattle uh, that was on the original hinge and the way that they did that was basically by adding a magnet which locks that head in the fire position now ultraview is claiming that that does not affect the overall accuracy of the release because by the time you hit the click you've come off the magnet so like i said no issue with accuracy or performance now real quick let's talk about the different finishes that you can buy the accessories and then the finger configuration uh, that you can set up on the hinge 2.0 now uh, the hinge 2.0 is offered in aluminum and then brand new this year with the hinge 2.0 is their stainless steel i opted for the stainless steel because i think the black with the gunmetal gray just looks awesome um, this release is actually substantially heavier than my carter wise choice uh, after playing around with the hinge 2.0 the the wise choice honestly feels like a feather uh, so keep that in mind if you're someone who likes a lighter release you probably want to stay away from the stainless steel uh, but for me personally I love the weight of this release I think it feels awesome in the hand um, and like it's just it just feels durable it doesn't feel like you're gonna break it if you accidentally drop it like I said I love the weight of this release now uh, when talking about the accessories that are available they offer a ton of different thumb pegs I decided to add a thumb peg just due to the fact that I'm new to shooting a hinge and I want to prevent any accidental rotation. Uh, but they offer those thumb pegs in metal and you can buy them in a variety of different colors or you can buy them uh, in that plastic which is actually 3D printed uh, and again they also offer those in a variety of colors so make sure you go over to the Ultra View website and check out what accessories that you can buy with a Hinge 2.0 to further customize it to your liking. Now as far as like finger configuration goes it comes standard out of the box in a three finger if you want to change it to a, four, a two or a four finger uh, you have to buy the hunting bracket uh, I don't know why they set it up this way but on the the previous version all you had to do is buy just additional finger and like i said you could change it to a two a three or a four uh, but this year with the hinge 2.0 like i said you gotta buy that hunting bracket now the hunting bracket is offered in an aluminum and a stainless steel but keep in mind that stainless steel is going to add some weight to your release so what i would recommend is that you just buy both and then play around with it and figure out what weight ratio you like best for the way that you shoot now the good thing about ultra 
Grandview is they do have a 14 day return policy. So if you buy something and as long as it's not damaged, you can return it within 14 days and get a full refund. Uh, you may have to pay shipping, but like I said, you can return uh, whatever one you don't like. So just buy both and then figure it out from there. Now, Let's talk about setting up the release. As we already mentioned, this is a fully adjustable release and they did that by adding the two different moons, the click moon and the fire moon. Uh, out of the box, this thing comes very cold. The click is cold, the fire is cold, uh, and it's so cold that it actually requires like an unnatural amount of rotation to actually activate the release. Uh, so like I said, once you get it, you most likely will have to play around with this a little bit to figure out how you want to set this up. Now, what I would recommend is when you're playing around with it, start off with a shot trainer get familiar with the release before you step over to the bow and that's going to help prevent any uh, accidental misfires and you sending that arrow off in an unsafe direction or punching yourself in the face like i said you don't want to be that guy so like i said start out with a shot trainer before you go over to the bow now for me i set mine up to have a click i really like having the click because a i like to know when i need to stop relaxing my hand uh, and then i just need to basically focus on pulling through the shot now what that is going to look like for my release uh, and i set mine to be pretty uh, pretty hot on the click. Now, if you don't want to click, all you need to do is basically figure out where you want the release to fire or how much rotation, uh, and then set that click moon colder and that'll get rid of the click for you. Uh, but for me, what that's going to look like is basically, you know, I come to full draw, I go to my anchor, I let go of that thumb peg so I can allow my hand to rotate or relax hear the click and then from here I just need to focus on pulling through the shot. Now if I'm in a hunting situation and I need to wait for an animal to come into an open window, I can do so and then I can start to pull and the shot breaks. Uh, and the same thing goes with like a target uh, situation. So if you're shooting 3D or just shooting at uh, you know a blank target or bail target, basically you know come to full draw, relax that index finger, hear the click, focus on pulling through the shot, and then the shot's gonna execute. So like I said, I like having a click on mine. Uh, and the awesome thing that the UltraView did with the Hinge 2.0 is they made it very user-friendly. They laser engraved the, right on the release which way you need to actually turn to make the, the release hot or colder. So um, if you're looking at the release in this orientation, you gotta go clockwise to make it hotter, counterclockwise to make it colder. Now keep in mind there is a set screw that you have to loosen uh, and only do a quarter turn on that set screw when playing around with it. When I loosen that, you will get a little bit of play up here in the head. Um, so obviously that's tied in up here. So like I said, don't go too crazy with backing that screw out. Do that quarter turn, make your adjustment, lock it back down, and then go and shoot it on the bow and see if you need to make any further adjustments. But uh, in a nutshell, that is the hinge 2.0 now let's go ahead let's go outside i'm going to shoot this uh, i'm going to take some slow-mo videos i'm going to show you how i'm actually activating the release or getting it to actually fire because one thing i do want to mention when you're shooting a hinge if you are forcing the rotation of this release versus pulling through and and allowing that rotation to build up on the back wall then you're shooting a hinge incorrectly like and let me show you what that looks like so the improper way is basically you forcing the rotation to make the release go off. What you wanna do is you just wanna to go to full draw. Like I said, relax your hand, hear the click, and then from there, pull, 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 and then the shot is gonna break. And you're building that pressure up off the back wall. So like I said, if you're purposely rotating the release to get this to fire, then you're shooting a hinge wrong. But like I said, let's step outside, let's send some arrows down range. I'll show you how I shoot the hinge, and then we'll come back in here and I'll let you know my overall thoughts and opinions. All right, everyone, so we just got back inside from shooting the Hinge 2.0, and the first thing I wanna say is I apologize about the lighting. This is the first nice day that we've had here in Michigan, so I could be able to get outside and send some shots down range with the Hinge 2.0. Uh, but right off the rip, I realized that the neck on the hinge is drastically longer than the neck 
on the Carter Wise Choice. Now that's throwing off my anchor point with the hinge. It feels like really far back. I'm struggling to let the release rotate to the click and I'm struggling to kind of pull through, putting a little bit of tension on my shoulder. Um, whereas I'm not feeling any of that obviously with the Carter Wise Choice, but I'm set up for this release. Whereas uh, I'm not set up for uh, the hinge 2.0. Now I could uh, shorten my draw length or shorten my D loop. But for me, I'm already shooting a 27 inch draw length, so I don't want to go any shorter. Uh, my my D loop is, is roughly about an inch long, so I could shorten that to about three quarters of an inch. But obviously that's going to have a waterfall effect and it's going to change the way that my Carter Wise Choice feels. And so I'm just not sure if the UltraView Hinge 2.0 is going to be the right release for me long term as a shot trainer. I could definitely say without a doubt, I would not take this thing out in the woods because I'm just not comfortable enough with it. Uh, but I might start looking at like a different release that like mimics the Carter Wise Choice design as a shot trainer. Like they have the Carter Evolution 2.0, which is built off of the Carter Wise Choice body. Um, so again, I mean, I would be able to, to go back and forth between those two releases without having to change my overall setup. Now, all in all, I have nothing bad to say about the Hinge 2.0. I think they knocked this release out of the park. Um, I love the weight. I love the feel in the hand. Um, it's just, there's a lot going on with the Hinge and I'm just not sure if the Hinge is the right release for me as a shot trainer. But uh, that's it for the video. Uh, if you guys live in Southeastern Michigan, uh, make sure you guys hit up Sunrise Archery. They can order you these UltraView Hinge 2.0s. Uh, so if you can support your local bow shop, please do. Uh, and then if you guys have any other questions for me, make sure you drop me a comment. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And then always remember, we do have some merch available in your guys' purchases of our merch. Greatly supports this channel, keeps us doing what we're doing. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you on the next one.